It is Saturday, April 9th. We have a few things we need to cover with you today. One of those is us getting ready for the farm tour <laughs> we have today. But before we get to that, I wanna make sure I let everybody out there know, if you guys are in Arizona, particularly in the Phoenix area, and you guys wanna know when we have events, tours and workshops like this, make sure you join our customer email list through our website. There's a link down in the description below, but it's easy, edgeofnowherefarm.com. Be sure to join that email list so you know when we have events like these. But Lori and I need to get ready. Hi, I'm Lori. Hi, I'm Marcia. Marcia, nice, nice to meet you, to meet you guys. Virgil. Oh, yeah. Virgil, nice to meet you. Hey, bud. Evan, no nice. <laughs> You'll notice we have three mulberry trees here. You guys have probably you know heard all this stuff before. But um, these three are ever bearing mulberry trees. That's the Illinois ever bearing mulberry. You get the whole thing. Here. Step of approval. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Okay. It's on the old farm, we tried for about three years. Established soil without initial tilling. And I think just now they're starting to get weak to grow through there. Anybody here raise? Want to raise chickens? Okay. That's called zone one, and that's where you're gonna be every single day. And so for us, you'll see wherever we have a lot of intensity as far as time that we need to spend, it's closer to the house. They look like crop circles, so I've got a little ring around a newly planted tree. At the same time, we have a larger ring that's about eight to 10 feet in diameter. find some on there oh yeah yeah delicious have you had them before no so first time with shangri-la yeah and good yeah definitely going to get some of these super good huh <laughs> is that your first time having a mulberry that's the first time having this mulberry the shangri-la yeah very delicious 
They're good, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I see why you make wine out of this stuff. That's good. Oh, I've yeah. never had one before. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. Right? Right? I know. I'm yeah. so bored, but now I know why you make wine out of it. Right? It makes amazing dark red wine. So, yeah, see, that's a little different than the other. Right? You should mix it with vodka. Uh, it would be, yes. You, sit, yes. you let it sit for a couple of months? Yes. Oh, yep. it is amazing. It is very good. It's very good. We just wrapped up our spring farm tour here on the farm, live and in person, and spending some time with us. Uh, for the, you guys that are watching it, we really, truly have a blast when we get to spend time with you guys. Anytime you get a group of like-minded folks together, it seems like all the differences get set aside and you just enjoy the time together, and we definitely did. We have a lot of work to get done on the farm as far as chores here, so uh, I think I better get to it. Our new baby Rosie here. She is a mini Nubian, a registered mini Nubian that we got from Amy at Desert Willow Farm. And she raises these registered babies for other folks and she's a good friend of ours as well. Rosie is like your best friend. <laughs> she's so cool. She literally follows Lori around like a puppy dog and will go wherever Lori goes. And so far she's been really good, not she... eating things she's not supposed to. No. Nope. She had spent her first night here, in here last night. Yeah. And she gets a little upset when we leave at first, and then she eventually settles down. But she's just adorable. Now, we have a second one coming. Her name is Violet, and she's just not here yet. So she will have a pal, because they definitely need it. She's actually eating grapevines. So we're clearing out some of the grapevines that are coming in nice and strong, and she loves the leaves off of these grapevines. She's chowing down on them now. Get it, Rosie. Get it. We'll be sharing a lot more with Rosie here um, as we move on, but we also have some new arrivals coming this week, right? We do. So we have ducks that are coming and also a couple geese that are supposed to ship this week. We tried to establish two pastures, one for the turkeys that didn't turn out so well, but thankfully those aren't here until the middle of July, but the duck and goose pasture is coming along pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. really good. Yeah, we have some green in there, so we're looking forward to having them on the farm and starting that little adventure. Always cool to have people here. For everybody that was here, again, thank you for being here. Uh, I think, I know I said it in the beginning, but if you guys are here in Arizona, we have folks from California, yep. but uh, you know we don't expect you guys to be rolling in from all over the world, but if you guys are here in Arizona, I would highly encourage you guys to join our customer email list on our website. We have a link down below. We don't really talk about the business aspect, but we do announce events and workshops and things like that through that customer email list. So if you want to know when we have these things going on, that really is your best bet. So just want to thank you guys for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. You caught us today on our weekly vlog where we give everybody an update on what's going on around this newly establishing farm here in the Arizona desert, but would love to have you as a subscriber. 
Any questions or comments, please those, leave those in the comment section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So we just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you! Says everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we can grow her plenty of fodder. Between mm -hmm. that and the mulberries and mm -hmm. eventually the moringa. Yeah. It's like, wait, moringa? Did I hear moringa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how crooked that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is not gonna work. I think that's okay. 